In 1999, when Li Bu Jin married her bodyguard, it felt like a fairy tale. But to the Korean people, it was a huge scandal. BJ's family is among the world's richest, with an estimated net worth of $70.2 billion, according to Forbes. On the other hand, the bodyguard came from a humble, ordinary family. Despite their significant differences, they became a married couple. However, the fairy tale soon turned into a nightmare. Why did they divorce, and what is the hidden truth behind BJ marrying someone from a simpler background? Watch the full video to find out. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified as I upload a new video. Let's go on. In America, wealthy people can marry anyone they want. But in Korea, it's different. There are around 20 families that control the most powerful and influential companies in all of South Korea. Their kids are called chables, and they usually marry each other. At the top of this group is Samsung. The Samsung Lee family is like a dynasty. It all began with the founder, Lee Byung Chul, who started Samsung and later passed it on to his son, Lee Kun Hee. The former leader of the Samsung group had four children, and among them, BJ was rumored to be the favorite. Her father always took her to major events and held her hand proudly. She was so well loved by him that the media dubbed her the Samsung princess even though he had three daughters. So when BJ announced she was going to marry her bodyguard, the entire country was shocked. Stories like the super rich marrying the poor may seem beautiful only in books and articles in women's magazines. In reality, when two people from different backgrounds get married, the union can turn into a nightmare. So what happened? BJ was born in Seoul on October 6, 1970. Her father was the late billionaire chairman of Samsung, and her mother is a billionaire businesswoman and philanthropist. She graduated from Dawan Foreign Language High School in Korea. Later, she earned a bachelor's degree from Yonsei University, one of the top three schools in Korea, and then pursued an MBA from MIT in the United States. When she returned to Korea after completing her studies, her father appointed her as the CEO of Hotel Shilla a member company of the Samsung Group. Concerned for his daughter's safety, he decided to arrange a bodyguard for her. Lim Woo Jae was the most trustworthy person around him, so he transferred him to his daughter for complete protection. However, he did not anticipate that this would be the last decision he would regret in his life. Lim came from a regular family, his parents earned a living running a small shop. He started working before completing high school and took a security job at Samsung Group. He didn't have much money, a notable background, or extensive knowledge. Lim was two years older than BJ. He was handsome, quiet, and made her feel very safe. Their relationship quickly grew, leading them to fall in love. When BJ shared her feelings for Lim with her father, he, as expected, strongly opposed the relationship and asked the two to break up immediately. Her father dreamed of marrying her into a Chable family. His eldest son, the current CEO of Samsung, married the daughter of the president of Daesung Group, a large conglomerate. BJ's younger sister married the son of the president of Chosen Ilbo, the second largest newspaper in Korea. Unfortunately, the third daughter passed away in the United States, reportedly due to love and the inability to be with her beloved. However, BJ insisted on marrying only Lim and no one else. After resisting for four years, her father had no choice but to agree. The wedding between the bodyguard and the wealthy lady took place in August 1999 and became a national scandal. The wedding not only captured the attention of the business community, but also the general public, as their union was seen as a modern-day fairy tale. Lim was quickly nicknamed Mr. Cinderella by the press due to his ordinary background. Following the marriage, he no longer had to work as a bodyguard and was sent abroad to MIT for further education. Lim initially thought that being rich meant doing whatever you wanted with money and enjoying it. But now he had to focus on studying, and he struggled with it. In the US, he became annoyed and frustrated eventually breaking down and spending most of his time playing video games and reading in bed. 
He barely managed to focus on his studies. Later on, he revealed that he had tried to exit his life twice during this difficult period. Since he struggled to understand his studies, BJ's father had to bring him back to Korea and directly appointed him as vice president of Samsung Motor. However, Lim lacked basic business knowledge, was very inexperienced, and wasn't suitable for this position. Company employees made fun of him and even took away his responsibilities. This made him feel increasingly inferior and resentful. His anger grew, feeling that the Lee family always looked down on him, and unfortunately, he directed this frustration towards his wife. Lin would start drinking, and at one point, he even became physically aggressive towards BJ despite being pregnant. She never told her family due to the embarrassment it would cause, and never went to the police to avoid a scandal for the company. At that time, BJ's remarkable skills and business sense saved Shilla Hotel from bankruptcy. Within a few years, she increased the hotel's performance by 650%. As a result, she was soon appointed as the only female president of Samsung Group. Seeing that he was depressed and unsuccessful, and his wife's career was flourishing, Lin felt very uneasy. But instead of putting in effort to improve his situation, he started drinking nonstop spending money extravagantly, and engaging in multiple affairs with high-profile celebrities. From the outside, it looked like the couple was happily married with no problems, but behind closed doors, things were different. BJ couldn't handle the situation, and they separated in 2007 after eight years together. In 2014, she asked for a divorce. At first, Lynn begged her not to divorce, but when he found out that it wasn't going to work, he asked BJ to pay about $1 billion as a breakup fee. The divorce process took five years because of the large amount of money involved and BJ being the eldest princess of Samsung Group. Finally, in 2019, the South Korean court decided that BJ should pay about $6 million to Lim to end the marriage. This might seem like a lot, but considering her net worth is almost $4 billion on her own, not including her family's wealth, it's actually a relatively small amount. The famous Samsung Cinderella story has come to an end, but not with the fairy tale outcome it seemed to promise. However, there was drama even after the divorce proceedings. Some rumors suggested that BG may have planned this from the start. Typically, daughters of Chables marry influential men to strengthen family connections and often become housewives. However, BJ chose a different path by marrying a commoner, staying married, and achieving a remarkable career. She climbed the ranks so high that board members wanted her to be the temporary CEO of Samsung Group after her brother faced legal troubles for corruption. In South Korea, where success for women is often challenging, this was unconventional. Even after the divorce, she continues to thrive. She is now ranked as the second richest woman in South Korea and one of the world's 100 most powerful women in 2023, according to Forbes. Despite being 53 years old, she remains beautiful. Her son, who is around 16 years old, never appears in public. This story highlights that fairy tales only exist in books. Reality can be tough. Do you believe BJ made the right choice by marrying a simple guy instead of a chable? Share your opinion in the comments. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video and want more like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up below in appreciation. And if you haven't already, you really want to subscribe, subscribe to my channel and tick the bell icon so you get notified as I upload a new video every week. See you in the next video.